An independent coefficient survey shows Eldon leading the incumbent in the race for the first time. Congressman Lee Zeldin joins us now. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. It's pretty remarkable, not that we didn't have faith in you as a person, but I mean, it's an overwhelmingly democratic state and you're now winning the governor's race? First, congratulations. Second, what do you attribute this to? I mean, you have a governor who's just not doing a good job. She's unlikable. She's corrupt. She's pandering to criminals. She's pandering to tax and spend liberals. She's advancing woke policies as opposed to just focusing on what is most important to New York voters. If she was tackling rising crime, if she was tackling skyrocketing costs, then this might be a different campaign. But here we are talking about how we need to remove district attorneys when they refuse to enforce the law. We don't have recall elections in New York, but the governor does have the constitutional authority to get rid of a DA who refuses to do their job. We're over here talking about the need to get rid of cashless bail and some of these other pro-criminal laws, and we need to support our men and women in law enforcement who are being hung out to dry, getting the handcuffs thrown on them as opposed to putting the handcuffs on criminals. Uh, we have a state ban on the safe extraction of natural gas, and now Kathy Hochul uh, wants to get rid of all gas-powered vehicles here over the course of the next decade. We just had the new CDC guidance come out where they're adding the COVID vaccine into their list. And you have a governor who is talking about uh, as a possible consideration. Her past remarks have indicated that maybe she would mandate that for kids, but we already have it uh, being required on college students. And we have people who are getting fired for the refusal to get the COVID vaccine, like our healthcare workers who used to be held as heroes, now treated as zeros. I'm somebody who believes that there should be no COVID vaccine on anyone, whether it's grade school, higher ed, employment, or otherwise, and everyone who should be fired, who was fired, should be getting their jobs back with yes. back pay. So the contrast is clear, and even Democrats and independents are saying, you know what, we have to go a new, new direction in order to save this state. Kathy Hochul has to go, and she will on November 8th.